The learning objectives for TR-34 are, given the value of any trig function for an angle, use trig identities to determine the value of any or all of the other trig functions. Use trig identities in formal proofs. Given that cosine theta equals 1, what are the other trig function values for angle theta? Let's build a checklist over here of our objectives, and we can already fill in cosine equals 1. Given sine or cosine, we can find the other with the Pythagorean identity. Plugging in 1 for cosine theta, and we end up with sine theta equals 0. This shouldn't be a surprise, visualizing our unit circle when cosine is 1, sine is 0. So we can add sine theta equals 0 to our checklist. Once we know sine and cosine, everything else is easy because the other four trig functions all depend directly on sine, cosine, or both. Sokotoa reminds us that tangent equals opposite over adjacent. This corresponds to sine over cosine, which for theta is 0 over 1. So tangent theta equals 0. Cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent, adjacent over opposite, which corresponds to cosine over sine. For angle theta, this is 1 over 0. This is an undefined fraction since we're trying to divide by 0, so the cotangent of this angle is undefined. This will happen at the quadrantial angles where either sine or cosine is 0, yielding ratios with 0 in the denominator. We saw this when we graphed the trig functions. Secant theta is 1 over cosine theta. 1 over 1 is 1, so secant theta equals 1. Cosecant is 1 over sine theta. 1 over 0 is undefined again, so cosecant theta is undefined at angle theta. And we found the values for all the trig functions at angle theta. Let's do another one. We're given that sine theta equals negative 0 0.593 and that theta is in quadrant 3. What are the other trig function values for theta? Here's our checklist again. We're given sine. Since we know sine, we can find cosine using the Pythagorean identity. Plugging in the value for sine, we get cosine theta equals plus or minus 0 0.805. We're told that theta is in quadrant 3, so we know that both cosine and sine are negative. So cosine theta equals negative 0 0.805. Now that we know the cosine and sine, the others should be simple. Tangent is sine over cosine. It's positive since the cosine and sine are both negative, 0 0.737. Cotangent is cosine over sine, again positive, 1.357. Secant and cosecant are reciprocals of cosine and sine, respectively. They'll both be negative since the cosine and sine are negative. I'm going through these quickly because they're so simple. Given secant theta equals 1.602 and theta is an acute angle, what are the other trig function values for theta? Here's the checklist and we're given secant. Cosine is 1 over secant, so 0 0.624. Now that we know cosine, we're just a Pythagorean hop from sine, which turns out to be 0 0.781. Again, positive because theta is acute. Now we're golden. Tangent is sine over cosine. Cotangent is cosine over sine. And cosecant is 1 over sine. These kinds of problems are pretty easy with a little practice. When we're given the tangent or cotangent, things are a bit different, but still pretty easy. Given that the tangent is negative 0.75 for an angle in quadrant 2, what are the values for the other trig functions? First, let's note that for angles in quadrant 2, the cosine will be negative and the sine will be positive. Let's make our checklist and note that the tangent is negative 0.75. Okay, when given tangent or cotangent, express it as a fraction. For our angle, negative 0.75 can be easily expressed as negative 3 fourths. Since tangent is sine over cosine and the cosine is negative, I made the 4 negative. Now we need to find the hypotenuse. We draw a triangle, it doesn't have to be to scale, with the opposite and adjacent sides labeled, 
corresponding to the appropriate numerator and denominator of the trig tangent or cotangent provided. In this case, we should recognize a 3, 4, 5 right triangle, so the hypotenuse is 5. Since we know opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse, Sokotoa is our key to determining all of the trig function values. Let's flex our muscles with one more proof. Prove secant theta divided by cosine theta minus tan theta divided by cotangent theta equals 1. We'll keep our work orderly and easy to grade by using the two-column proof format. The left-hand side is clearly the most complicated-looking side, so we'll start with the left-hand side as given and manipulate it until it equals 1, the right-hand side. Let's start by rewriting secant theta as 1 over cosine theta by the reciprocal identity of secant. We can combine the fractions in the left term to get 1 over cosine squared theta. In the other term, let's rewrite cotangent theta as 1 over tangent theta by the reciprocal identity of cotangent. Now we can combine the tangent terms to tangent squared theta. Let's rewrite tangent squared theta as sine squared theta over cosine squared theta by the definition of tangent. Now both fractions have the same denominator, so we can combine them, and 1 minus sine squared theta equals cosine squared theta by Pythagorean substitution. And so cosine squared theta over cosine squared theta equals 1, which is the right-hand side, so we've proven the identity as required. At some point in your trig class, your instructor will expect you to prove given identities. The best way to prepare is to practice and build your confidence. Not every path taken will lead to success, so if you get stumped on a problem, go back and try a different approach.